if you're just joining us here for the first time, I strongly recommend you have a nose around to try and find part one, because that's where we started creating the fan page avatar. Okay, and in fact, let's put that up. This is what we're aiming to finish up with, and then we're going to upload it to uh, the fan page on Facebook. So let's get rid of that for now, and we'll continue to finish off um, where we left off. So we're going to add some text now, and so we want to go over to the Create and Edit Text button, click on it, and then click on your workspace over here somewhere. And we're going to, uh, well, the name of this, this business is Sadie's Dried Flowers. Okay, I did that on purpose because what I want to show you is if you um, decided that you want to put that on a separate line, pop your cursor just in front of where you want to create um, a, a separate line and press enter. Okay, so we want to embellish that to a style. And to do that, uh, we select the View and Select Font Family tool up on the toolbar here. So click on that, and you have a dialog box that opens up. Let's move it so we can see what we're doing here as well. Okay, on the left-hand side, you've got all the font families. Uh, do play around there um, until you're happy with one that you want. But we're going to choose Broadway. Oops, there we go, Broadway. And over here you'll have normal or bold. And over here the layout. Now we want that to be centered on the avatar, so I'm going to select that. Font size, I'm going to leave that for now, but you could put in whatever you wanted here, and I'll explain why in a moment. Line spacing, I want to reduce that to 110, because I, I want to um, reduce the space between the two. So click apply, and then close. And you can see that's now centered it. It's You won't notice that um, the, the line spacing is reduced, but um, after a while using it, you will. Okay, so select that and then move it over to where you want. I think that's a little too large. Uh, and so I'm going to reduce it by um, clicking on one of the handles in the corner and um, sliding it to the size I want. Now. A good way to do this is to hold down the control key because it will then proportionately reduce it. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. Righty-ho. Um, I want to change the colour of that as well. And I want it to be brown because it, it's going to tie in nicely with the brown on the teasels. So make sure that you're selected, which we are, and then just go to the brown colour here. Okay. I want to create a white drop shadow here and to, to be able to do that we're going to duplicate Sadie's dried flowers text so make sure it's um, selected and then right click with your mouse and then you have a duplicate. Well let's leave it like that for the moment. I want this to be white. You may want to tie it in with something a little bit different but I think white is going to be fine for the moment. Now, what we actually want to do is we want to tuck that white text behind the brown. And to do this, we use the set of buttons here. You can imagine it, it's sort of like a sandwich. If you wanted, if you had three layers of the sandwich and you wanted that to go to the bottom, you'd actually select that button there. Lower selection to the bottom or end. Lower selection one step down, which is actually what we want. Raise the selection one step up and then raise the selection to the top. You'll see what I mean when I choose the lower, sele uh, lower selection one step down. And that's now tucked behind, the white's tucked behind the brown. Now to position the, the, the text to be just slightly off center, I think it's more accurate to use the keyboard keys. Okay, and you can see I've just um, nudged that along. Do be careful with this because it's terribly easy to overdo that. You see, I don't personally think that's actually as um, effective, Ooh, that's too much, as being, um, well, like that really. It's just a hint of it and you can still read it. And that's that's obviously got to be the objective of the exercise. Okay, so we're happy with Sadie's dried flowers. And now we want to put on some more text. So go back to the create and edit text. 
and our message here is click here oops yes to get oops your free packet of seeds you may have to play around with this to see what optimally fits on the avatar but let's start off with that so that's our text we go up to the um, font family text tool this time I want to use Seago print you might not even have this so again play around with what you you have on your machine okay uh, I want to bold it I want to align it to the left which it already is and again I'm going to change the line spacing to 110 percent Okay, now let's see if that fits in there. I, I, I'm sure it isn't going to, but select it. Well, I can tell. Okay, so again, proportionately to reduce the size of that, hold down the control key. And let's move it in there. Yeah, I think that's okay. Now, personally for me, that's not... No, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to change that because we want to add in um, a Facebook like. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change that click here to click and then a separate line here. That's it. That's, uh, I think that's better. So again, select and move back. And I would like that to be darker so it stands out more. You'll see why when we come to load it up to the fan page. So, and I've already bolded it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate and you can see already that's standing out more. Okay, so we've got our text there. Perhaps move that up a little bit. Oh, yes. Well, of course, if you do that, let's let's get rid of that. That, that to, to get rid of something is to select it and then delete. But you've got to select it first of all. Move that up a little bit, duplicate again, and then it um, is even more emphasised. Okay, so now we're going to bring in our like button, or one I prepared earlier. But I'm going to just pause the video for the moment now when I ferret around where it is on my computer. See you in a moment. Okay, so what we I found the file by the way. So what we need to do is to click on the import a bitmap or SVG image and then um, the box comes up as to you know where to locate the image that you want. If you get this box PNG link or embed select the embed and then you've got the, the like button. Now we do need to resize that and again we want it to be done proportionately so hold down the control key grab hold of one of the corner um, arrows and there we go place it on your avatar okay now I think I think that's complete and um, when you're happy with it then it'll be complete for you too so what I just want to finish off with is showing you how to actually save this now I know Davina did that in a previous video I think um, what, which number video was it? Um, can't remember what it was now. Um, number three, actually, yes. So if you want to go into a little bit more detail, go over there. But I'm just going to quickly show you how to do this now. So first of all, we want to go to File, Export the Bitmap, and this dialog box comes up, and we want to go to File Name, click Browse. You put in the file name that you want and click save and then export. And that's literally it. Oops, well, I don't want to get rid of it all. I do apologise for that. So that's our completed avatar saved in a format PNG, which is accepted by Facebook. So that concludes the series on how to create the avatar. As I said, in the third one we'll show you actually how to upload it onto the fan page. But this is the end of this video for now. Thank you very much for joining us. If you do have any questions about what you've seen or you've got any feedback for us, 
please do contact us. You can do this by visiting our fan page on Facebook at Free Graphic Design Tutorials. And you can leave us a, an email. Our email address is there as well. So from Caroline, from me, bye for now.